and I then hash just release their data tables. So in this video, I will show you exactly how they work, how to create them, and even will cover all functionalities we have in real automation. So with all that being said, let's get started. So to begin with, let's start with a quick demo. As you can see, I've got my product A agent, and it's connected to data tables in NADEN, so we can get the row, update row, delete row, or even insert row. And the data table that I have connected to this A agent looks like this. So I have the product name, product ID, description, price, category, and brand. And overall, I've got 20 different items. And now when I open my chat, I can test it out. So I've got the following question. Give me the products that have the word pro in their name. So when I run it, my A agent runs and it gets for me the rows. And then we just check uh, basically for the pro and name. So we've got three items, iPhone 15 Pro, GoPro Hero 12 and DJ Mini 4 Pro. We can also ask another question. So now give me the items that price is $4.99. So let's see if it works. It should use the check price uh, here, the tool. And now what we have, we've got Apple Watch Series 9, PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X. And when we go to our data tables, we can see it works. So we've got this specific item at this price. Then we've got PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X. So this way we can just use data tables inside NADEN without just going elsewhere, for an example, to Google Sheets or any other platform. And in this video, once again, we'll test everything out. So after this quick demo, let's cover how we can create our data tables and how we can operate on them. And the first thing, make sure you've got the latest NADEN version because data tables are only available then. As you can see, we've got data tables here in beta mode. So if we click there, I've got for now two data tables, but I can click on this specific um, arrow and I can click on create data table. Um, I can give it a name. So for an example, I can name it as um, sample data. So I can name it as sample data. And then I can click on create. And now when we are here, it looks like this. So right now what we have, we've got the columns and different rows. We can add the row right here. However, for now, um, what we have, we've got two columns, created that and updated that. In the right top corner, we can add the column and we can add the row. So for now, let's add the column. And for instance, let's make sure, um, for example, we created this data table for um, our clients. So firstly, we can fulfill, um, let's say we can provide the column, which is full name. And remember to provide any connections between um, the specific words, because otherwise it won't work. Um, so we are working as you do with SQL or even vector da databases. Even you can provide, um, no, we can't provide. Um, let's provide the underscore, okay? So we've got the full name and we can choose the type, which is a string. We've got also the number, boolean, and date time. But for now, let's add the column, which is string. And now basically we can add another column, which is, let's say, um, number, okay? We've got the full number, so let's put it as this. Um, and now we can just take the type, which is number, okay? And basically it works this way. So for now, even I can add the description, which will be also a string. So I can add a column. And then what you can do, you can add here the rows. You can fulfill some specific information on your own. However, also in this video, I will guide you through how you can just import the data. So let's say you've got Google Sheets and then basically you want to import some data. Because as you can see here, we don't have the actually direct option to do this. We need to just um, use different way, but don't worry, it's pretty simple and I will be showing you that. But for now, once again, what you can do, um, you can select your row, you can delete it, you can clear the selection, you can add the next row, the next row, or add the column, and that's pretty it. As you can see, it's not that complicated, it's not that sophisticated, we don't have a lot of options, even we can just filter here. Um, so for instance, like this specific field equals something, and we've got three dots, so we can delete the column, and this is everything. When you click on the name, also we can sort it, but um, it looks this way. Now let's cover actually how we can manage these data tables. And the first thing I wanna answer is how to import the data, because for sure you don't wanna just fulfill the data manually. So just, you know, insert every row separately. And we've got two different ways. The first way is to just create just the simple automation that looks like this. We've got a click of a button, then we've got Google Sheets, and then we've got insert row inside our data tables. And another thing, um, another actually way how we can fulfill your data is to create a agent and then this a agent will fulfill the data, let's say some random items, okay? 
Uh, but for now, let me show you how the specific thing works. So I've got my Google Sheets and it looks like this. And now when I go back to NIDEN and I click on execute previous notes and I execute this specific note, I've got 20 items. And then what I can do, I can use the note, which is um, data table, and I can pick the operation, which is insert. And then I just map specific fields. So product name, product ID, description, price, category, and brand. And now what I can do, once I have my data table with just the items, let me for now delete them, okay? I can delete 20 items. And then uh, let's just click here on execute step or just even execute this workflow. Then it works, it inserts the rows. And when I go here, I just refresh, the data should appear right here. Okay, so I've got the product name, product ID, description, price, every item from our Google Sheets. However, there's another way. So I can use my A agent to actually create for me, let's say five different items. So right now, once again, I will click on delete. And now basically what we can do, let's perform some operations on our data tables with our A agent. By the way, this entire workflow you can download inside our 100% free community, which is AA Enthusiasts. Um, so I will put it in the YouTube resources. So make sure you find the title of this video and then you go here and you've got the JSON template, the video and everything right there. Um, I will put the link in the description of this video. But for now, let's go back. And basically, let me show you um, how to add the data tables. So we can click on the plus and add data table. And... I just wanted to show you because we've got different operations. We've got delete, get, if row exists, um, if row does not exist, insert, update, or even absurd. So we update rows or insert if there is no match. Uh, so yeah, these are the operations. You can just choose your data table or even create new, and that works pretty this way. Let's delete it. And for now, what we can do? We can open the chat and basically do some other things. So for instance, let's say I would like to get, um, let's say I would like to get a uh, first five rows. So I can just type. Please give me five first rows of the data table. Let's run it. And then I should get, oh, I've got only tw um, five um, different um, items. Um, okay, my bad. So firstly, let's um, delete this data. And once again, um, just insert it. Okay. And basically then I can just rerun um, this, specific, um, this specific request and let's wait. So we have iPhone 15, Samsung Galaxy, MacBook, Dell, and Sony. So let's see. Okay, it works. Let's provide another request. So let's update some item, which will be for this case, PlayStation 5 and I would like to update the price. So in my automation, I've got the specific tool, which is update row. So we've got the condition. So we check the column, uh, which is product name, and then we've got a condition equals. So our AI will just search for the specific name we give. And then um, also we map, um, you know, specific fields, columns with AI. And now I typed, update a price of item named PlayStation 5 to 965, maintain other information. Let's run it. Let's wait. Um, so we up it updated the row. Now we can go here, refresh, and the price right here should be 965. We've got it. We've maintaining all other details. Let's go now a little further. And I've got the following request. So delete all items that have a name number two. Let's run it. And right there, I will have deleted MacBook Air M2, what we have Samsung Galaxy 23. Uh, what else, um, what do we have here? Um, GoPro Hero 12, I guess this is everything. So our automation runs, um, yeah, pretty cool. And now what we have, okay, let's see. Do we have any other names that have a name number two? Uh, basically no, so it worked. What can be sometimes really confusing is the ID because now it looks like we've got 20 items because, because the last number is 20. However, now take a look, we've got the break between one and four, so we are missing two specific IDs, two rows, so two and three, and here uh, we don't have the row number M19. Another interesting thing that we can do is to make some calculations. So for instance, take five items with the following IDs and sum them up. And here for that case, we'll be using calculator, which is actually a tool inside our A agent. However, also we need to make sure that we've got the tool that gets the rows by their IDs. 
because if I click here, for now you can see it that like the condition is only the product name. So either I need to change it or add another tool that actually checks for the ID and um, not for the product name. For now, let me let me just change it. So I will check the product ID and then I've got the condition which is equals, okay? And then hopefully it works so I can just run it. So we just take five items with the following IDs and then we just sum them up basically. Okay, the total price. So 4311. And now if we go to our specific um, data table, we can see first we had iPhone 15. Then we had the ID, uh, which was uh, 10,999. Um, so we have our Canon. So for sure it worked and it summarized, um, you know, like it added our prices together and we've got our total amount which is 4311. So in this video that's everything about data tables. Let me know in the comments below what you think about them and um, remember to leave a like and click the subscribe button and also remember to join our A enthusiast community. It's our 100% free community. Inside we've got the challenges, uh, we've got a lot of users and we've got a classroom, um, YouTube resources and so on. Also feel free to check out our A agents accelerator. Inside we've got plus 55 hours and Aiden course. We've got a lot of resources. We've got YouTube resources, premium A agents templates. So we have a lot of, a lot of value. We've got the community, we've got the challenges, we've got the live calls and a lot of more. So no pressure, feel free to check it out. I will also put the link in the description of this video. For now, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next material on this channel.